a 99 TD5 Defender 130 converted from a crew cab pickup into a camper and I just finished it this spring and I used it for camping this uh, summer and it works very well as a camper it has a hella searchlight it has a aluminum roof rack with toolbox and Double jerry can holder and it fits a spare wheel on flat and luggage or four wheels raised um, between the box and the jerry can holders. It's Bosch Rally spotlights. It has the Jeep Wrangler LED headlights. Makes it a lot more bright than the, the Land Rover ones. It has a Mantec winch bumper. With a 6.1 ton winch from uh, Winch Max. Uh, the light brackets are from first four off roads. And it has stump guard, oops, stump guard and Terraforma heavy duty steering rod and heavy duty steering rod guard. It also has Terraforma wheel archers and uh, Terraforma big bore. Expedition shocks, so it's not bubbly when you drive it. Um, it has the uh, Challenger steel rims, Snow Cove, uh, Mantec snorkel, and we're in Norway, so the DAB antenna. And it has the tree sliders from first four off road. I'm very happy with them, they're very solid, and I use them as a step. It has a custom made roll cage from Protect and Performance in UK, shovel months, work lights, amber strobes, and this is a little detail I really like, and it's the mud stuff blind spot mirror, very nice. Um, wind deflectors on all windows, and awning in uh, Defender 90 windows to make it, you know, wind over themed when I build it. Curved corners and this uh, sand tracks doubles as a bench. It's the same on both sides and this side I use it as an outdoor uh, kitchen. It has a trailer hitch and can tow 3.5 tons. Um, spare wheel in the rear. It has two cameras. One up there that goes straight back as I use as a rear view mirror. And when I put it in reverse, I have a camera right over the trailer hitch. Making sure I don't run over anybody. <clears throat> and yes, as you can see, the name of the car is Plan B because when everything Goes to shit. Just get in the car and go. Jump in the roof. Just remove the safety pin and unlash the hatch and give it a push. With the top raise, it adds another 120 centimeters in the back, so plenty of room. Um, this is my kitchen counter. It clicks on the sand tracks and it's stored between the pop-up bed and the pop-up top when I drive. The rear door has a uh, lockable toolbox handle that is connected to a Nissan X-Trail locking mechanism so you can lock it from inside with the original one. That's my double bed, and this bench turns into also a bed. Fire extinguisher, mag lights. So, plenty of room. And you get more room. Now you can stand all the way in the front. A 
I made it so it fits two uh, front runner boxes. And because they're solid boxes and you can use them for a lot of things, it has uh, two cabinets and a refrigerator. Waco, very good. A lot of cabinet drawers and small sink. Wait, one burner. And I really haven't used it because I don't want to cook inside a little camper I cook outside but if you want to make tea or something when it rains this is the um, bracket for the bed and so you don't poke your head out and as you may have noticed I don't have a table in the back so this is one of my boxes and Clicks on and table for two. This is probably the best way to see how it's uh, put together. This is two and a half millimeter thick, uh, 30 by 30 square piping in aluminum. And on the back here, two millimeter uh, sheets. And on the inside, it's 12 millimeter uh, marine plywood. And it's insulated and glued and ribbed and screwed together so it's quite solid and as you can see the whole the whole thing is ribbed together it's uh, quite simple but functional awning from terrain vehicles so it's uh two by two meters and i have made tent walls for it. Now we can guard over the side wheel, so rains and snows, whatever, you can stand here nice and dry and cook your dinner and it's enough space for a table and two chairs. And even if you have the missus with you, she can send you a bear through the window. Huh? How about waking up to this view? As you can see, it is a dividing wall between the camper part and the cab, and that's due to some Norwegian laws and regulations. Uh, so I have to have that. However, uh, I do have a door in uh, the wall, so I can come from my bed and into my driver position without exiting the vehicle. So I have made some shelves for toolboxes and suitcases and whatever. Behind this box, it's just mounted on four screws. There's all my um, electric relays and my connections for the whole camper and the car. That black thing. I have a 2.5 kilowatt uh, diesel burner. And it makes this thing into a sauna in a matter of minutes. When I converted it from a pickup truck, I needed to do something with the roof. So, the roof is actually the roof of a 110 that is cut and then fitted. And also the front part here behind the door is the front P 
piece of uh, 110. That was the only way I could get it approved in Norway. Convert it like this. Behind the license plate number is a small vent that goes to the little sealed room where you put your uh, little propane holder for your little stove. And, and if it's a stormy weather and you don't want to have the pop top up, the bench in the back can be turned into a 90 centimeter bed. And that's when the top is closed. Or if you want to convert it into a three-seater, it actually has, it sleeps three, three people. On the passenger side, I have a map light, a compass, and you can see my dual charging system because I have an auxiliary battery in the back that runs all the work lights and the refrigerator. Dash cam and uh, a dash. And this QB box can be swapped for a third seat. I got the mud stuff roof console with a 40 channel, multi channel CB. So it works in UK and America or Russia, wherever. Instead of a rear view mirror, I have a camera in the back on top of the roof pointing straight back. And when I shift it to reverse, it clicks over to the reverse camera that points straight on my trailer hitch. Easy to connect a trailer or when you're going to park, this car is kind of big, it's nice to see that you don't hit anything. When it comes to size, it's made so it fits exactly in a 20 foot shipping container with uh, one centimeter to spare on the height. It's made for uh, travel around the world and ship it between the uh, continents.